Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to another episode of Delicious Recipes, where we dissect the cooking secrets of the culinary world with a healthy dose of humor. Today, we have three recipes on review that have garnered millions of views. But are they truly deserving of such attention? Let's dive into these culinary masterpieces or disasters and find out. Recipe 1. Chicken Breast in 10 Minutes – The Quickest Way to Regret Today, we're diving into the culinary abyss of the tastiest and easiest chicken breast recipe you can make in 10 minutes. This mind-boggling masterpiece has garnered a staggering 5.5 million views. Buckle up, because we're in for a roller coaster of flavors and questionable cooking methods. Our journey begins with three unsuspecting chicken breasts, hoping for a better life in Flavortown. Little do they know, the only seasoning they will ever receive is a sprinkle of salt and black pepper. Ah, yes, the classic prison of flavor technique used by chefs who have given up on life. Next up, we have three tablespoons of butter, melted over high heat like a lava flow of cholesterol. Our chicken breasts must traverse this treacherous terrain, desperately clinging to the 60 grams of flour that have been dredged upon them. Can they survive? Will they shake off excess flour and emerge victorious? Only time will tell. As we pause for a moment of laughter, our brave chicken soldiers are fried over medium heat for five, six minutes until they achieve a golden brown tan, reminiscent of a sunbathing tourist on the beaches of Cancun. But wait, four cloves of garlic crash the party, eager to join the chicken on their perilous journey. The chicken must now perform an acrobatic flip frying the other side for four more minutes. The remaining half tablespoon of butter swoops in like a superhero, but is it enough to save the day? Our hero, Garlic, teams up with 90 grams of honey or maple syrup. If you're feeling particularly rebellious, one tablespoon of soy sauce and one and half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Together, they form the supergroup known as the Simmer Squad, ready to take on the challenge of thickening our sauce for two, three minutes. Finally, chives make a grand entrance, like an A-list celebrity crashing a high school prom. With a triumphant, oh, yummy, our chicken breasts have survived the treacherous journey through culinary mayhem. But seriously, folks, it may be best to consider alternative methods when cooking chicken. Perhaps marinating the chicken for added flavor or using a more sophisticated sauce could elevate this dish to new heights. Recipe 2. Zucchini Tastier Than Meat more like a nightmare on Zucchini Street. Today, we're dieting head first into the world of Zucchini with a recipe that claims it's tastier than meat. Now who needs steak when you've got squash, am I right? Let's take a look at this scrumptious and slightly suspicious concoction. To kick things off, we're going to assault these poured zucchinis by making small grooves with a fork. It's like a culinary crime scene, folks. After our victim, I mean, zucchini is appropriately tenderized, it's time to slice and dice. Remember, there's no such thing as too many zucchini pieces. Next, we're going to give these green goodies a nice salt and pepper spa treatment, really making sure they're marinated in a salty, peppery prison of flavor. Leave them to stew in their own delicious despair for 15-20 minutes, or until they start begging for mercy. While the zucchini serve their time, let's grate 100 grams of well, the recipe doesn't specify, so let's assume it's cheese. Any cheese will do, really, the stinkier, the better. Throw in a teaspoon of parsley and paprika, and if you're feeling extra zesty, why not a pinch of ground unicorn horn? Now let's crack in three eggs, mix well, and thank our friends for their comments, even though we haven't tasted the dish yet. Moving on to the breading station, combine 100 grams of breadcrumbs with 50 grams of flour. Is it just me, or does this resemble a beach made of carbs? Time to dip our zucchini in this sandy mixture, then into the egg cheese slurry that we totally didn't just make up. Now it's time for the piece de resistance, frying these little green monsters in plants or olive oil. You heard that right, folks. Grab your nearest houseplant, wring out some oil, and let's get cooking. Fry them covered at medium heat for 4-5 minutes, then flip and fry on low heat for another 5 minutes. You might be wondering, why the temperature change? Well, it's a top-secret cooking technique, 
passed down from the world's most renowned chefs, or, you know, a typo. Either way, it's hilarious. Finally, fry up the rest of your zucchini, if there's any left after you've been snacking on them raw, of course. And voila! You've got yourself a plate of delicious zucchini that's supposedly tastier than meat. Oh, delicious indeed! Recipe 3 Today, we're diving into a recipe that somehow managed to snag 6 million views in just three weeks. Is it a culinary marvel or a disaster waiting to happen? Let's find out. The recipe claims to be better than pizza. Vitamin bomb. Healthy, easy, and cheap. But hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to embark on a gastronomic adventure that'll make you question everything you know about cooking. Our hero kicks things off with two eggs, which they proceed to mix as if their life depended on it. They then add 1.5 cups of warm milk and 1.5 cups of warm water, which instantly brings to mind a delightful cup of milky tea, minus the tea and any semblance of enjoyment. Throw in a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and a packet of dry yeast, and you've got a concoction that could only have been dreamt up by the world's most renegade baker. Stir it up until the yeast dissolves, and then, for reasons unknown, they ask us to watch the video until the end. Maybe they're afraid we'll miss some crucial life-changing detail. Next up, 3.5 cups of flour. Now mix that bad boy up, cover it, and let it rest for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, it's time to prepare the veggies. Grab three zucchini, cut them in half, and chop them into pieces that are not too thick. The precision here is astounding, folks. Sprinkle a teaspoon of salt over the zucchini and set it aside for 20 minutes. Remember, the saltier, the better. Now let's chop up a red pepper, an onion, and four, five green onions. While you're at it, why not chop up some parsley and a potato? We're already in too deep, so we might as well go all out. After 30 minutes, it's time to revisit our dough. It's been sitting there, sad and lonely, waiting for our return. Mix in some cheese, add the chopped vegetables, and then it's time to address the zucchini situation. You see, the zucchini has been weeping tears of salt for 20 minutes, and now it's time to juice them and add their salty tears to the dough. Now, heat up some vegetable oil in a pan and pour in a couple of scoops of this culinary monstrosity. Cook it up and flip it over when it's red on the bottom. Is it better than pizza? Absolutely not. But it sure is a vitamin bomb overflowing with nutrients and confusion. Keep cooking until the dough is gone, and then, if you're feeling particularly brave, serve it up to your family. Will they love it? Who knows? But they'll certainly never forget it. Thanks for tuning into Delicious Recipe's wild ride of culinary chaos. If you somehow managed to survive this whirlwind of humor and black comedy, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more amusing and scathing critiques of your favorite recipes. And always remember, there's a world of flavor out there, so don't be afraid to explore. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.